Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabble, where of course every day is a train show. My name is DJ and I want to thank you very much for tuning in to yet another What is New Here at our store. We have so many new things here, hopefully that will find their way on your layout. Come to think about it, if you have bought everything that we showcase on our layout, I guess you have a pretty big layout. So let's make it even bigger with these 13,000 gallon tank cars from Ather. And this is of course a part of their Genesis line here. And these are really nice looking cars here. Detail, I think, is the name of the game here. There is so much detail happening in these cars here. They are just chock full of artistic goodness, so to speak, here. And I have a couple of other variations. Of course, that was a Pro Core here. And I got a couple of other versions here that are in the box. They are actually sealed from the factory, so I didn't want to open up a whole bunch of them. But I got a couple of different This is ones. the KCCX here, okay? If you can see it through the packaging there, basically a white tank car here. Then I have here, this is actually one with a little variation here with this uh, kind of jade uh, middle here. This is a UTLX. That is a really cool looking car there. And then, of course, here I have the UTLX. And again, another white car here. But the detailing with the variations, all the writings, warning labels, these cars are legit. They even have the larger knuckle couplers here. Engineer Hall, what are those knuckle couplers called? The big ones here. Oh, those? That's a, a double shelf coupler the, here. The double what? Shelf coupler. Double stuff coupler. That sounds delicious. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> so I got, uh, oh, sulfuric acid in here. That's not delicious. But these cars are just incredibly well detailed. They are well made. And these cars would be a welcome addition to any layout that you have. Now, you're probably wondering how much these cars are. Well, I'm going to tell you. So, remember, these are a three-pack, and remember, they're incredibly well-detailed. These cars retail for $169.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $144.49. It's a great deal to get on these cars here. I think you're really going to enjoy it. They do have a lot of weight to them. You can always throw that Engineer Hall discount on there as well. Get a little bit more on, because I think you're going to really enjoy these cars. So come to Yankee Dabbler. Get these cars rolling on your layout today. All right, now it's time to go to N-Scale Land. <laughs> All right, now we're in N scale land and everything's spinning. All right, take a look at some Bachman SD45 diesels that I think are going to look awesome pulling some cars on your layout. Check out these bad boys here. We got two different designs for you to choose from. Here we have the Redding with the Beeline service, and I always have enjoyed that paint scheme. I think that is a fantastic looking engine. And then another one, the CSX. Everybody loves the CSX. There are so many great looks for that, and that is, of course, a little bit of an earlier paint design there, but I think that is a great-looking engine. Now, what separates these engines, these are Bachman locomotives, but the price for these things is hard to beat. These retail for $299.99. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $139.99. I'm going to say they got. $139.99. These engines do have DCC. They do have sound. They are awesome pullers here. I think you're really going to enjoy these, especially if you are an end scaler looking for some locomotives to add to your fleet. Maybe you're a beginner, you're looking to get into the hobby, or maybe you're looking to get something brand new that uh, just looks fantastic here. And even though it is a Bachman piece, there is a lot of good things to like about these. And we're going to run them and we're going to see what they sound like. So, all aboard. So we're gonna run that CSX and we're gonna see what it sounds like. So all aboard. All right, so great idle sequence there. As you can see the number boards are lit up as well as the front headlights. Let's listen to what the horn sounds like. The bell. And here we go. Back row.
So anyway, so it's off to do whatever. I think that's a great scent of diesel locomotive. As a matter of fact, I think the engine revenue sound, this sounds fantastic. And again, the price cannot be beat. So we're selling this here at Yankee Dabbler for $139.99. You gotta come into Yankee Dabbler and get this locomotive on your lab before you missed out. Hey, here it comes. So we're going to take a look at something that we don't showcase too much on our show, and that is of an electric locomotive. And I have these wonderful ones from Rapido. They're the EP5s. Check out these puppies here. And I definitely like the look of that Penn Central. Of course, that's a classic black and white with the PC design there. But I think the engine that's really going to strike people's attention here is this New Haven. And for those of you who remember the old American Flyer days, the EP5 was one of their showcase engines here. And this engine here just looks fantastic. And I definitely love the design here. I love that color scheme. And Rapido has chalked this engine full of a whole bunch of different goodies that we're going to take a look at right now. For example, believe it or not, both of those pantographs are actually operable. So if I'm going in the forward position, the reverse pantograph would go up. So I go on my control pad here. Check that out. How cool is that? All right. And I can bring that one down as well. How cool is that? Or if I want to go in the opposite direction, there you go. That comes up. And I can bring that one down as well. Now, these engines do a tremendous a lot of sound effects here. And we're going to showcase a whole bunch of them. And I'm going to just take this one off the track right now because I want to take a look at this new Haven. And I'm going to play some of the sounds without the engine idle uh, sounds happening because I want you to be able to hear it. And especially if you're a fan of some old school advertisement, I think you're really going to enjoy what they have in showcase here. Check this out. You try it eight more times. Maybe it'll work. All right, here we go. When you take a trip, take the train, ride the New Haven Railroad. Why let stormy weather tie you down or traffic tangles bog you down? Don't gamble when you've got to get there. Be sure to get there. Take the New Haven and forget the problems of weather and traffic. Fair weather of foul, the trains always go straight to your destination, right into the heart of the city with center-to-center -center convenience. Go relaxed. Arrive relaxed. The sure way. Next trip to New York, go New Haven. You can depend on it. When you take a trip, take the train. Ride the New Haven Railroad. So that's really cool, the fact that you got an engine with an old school advertisement on there. And believe it or not, there are other ones on there as well. When you take a trip, take the train. Ride the New Haven Railroad. Yes, go New Haven parlor car when you're going to New York. It's the relaxed way to get there. Big, soft, upholstered chairs let you recline or swivel in comfort. Fair weather or foul, it's the scenic way to travel first class. It's dependable, comfortable, and it costs only $13.95 one way or $25.59 round trip. All this in center to center convenience, too. Pamper yourself. Go the dependable parlor car way. Go New Haven. When you take a trip, take the train. Ride the New Haven Railroad. Wonder if those prices are still accurate. So there's a whole bunch of them on here. I'm not going to bore us listening to every single one of them. I just think that is a really neat feature. I love things on trains that are just different. And that is obviously a different little thing in there. I've never heard of another engine give me an advertisement of the real thing back in the day. So this is fantastic. So let's actually now start our up here. So let's get the sounds happening. Okay, and again, remember, it is electric, so there's not going to be much of an idle sequence here. I love the electric sound here. All right, let's take a listen to the horn or whistle. That is cool. This is awesome. All aboard.
Hey, let's get some tank cars while we're here. Why not? Change direction. Change pantographs. Uh, I don't want the tank cars out there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop it right here and I'm gonna do this direction control there. So it's going in one direction here. What I'm gonna do? I love the brake sounds. I gotta change direction so you guys see the pantograph shift. And then off I would go in the other way. How cool is that? This might be one of my favorite engines we've worked out in a long time. Right? That is just such a neat sounding engine. Alright, so this retails, believe it or not, so they are working up. Ah, so this engine sells for five, I'm sorry, four fifty nine ninety five, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for three ninety nine ninety nine. It's a great deal to get on this engine here because you have so many features that are happening here. You have those old school advertisements. You have a lot of other uh, kind of wacky sound effects that you have in there. You have the pantographs. It just sounds cool. It looks cool. It's a different locomotive than probably what you have in your layout. And I don't have a ton of them left. I have two of the New Havens. I only have one of the Penn Central. So if you're interested in one of these engines, go on our website, yankeedabbler.com. Get this rolling on your layout today. I know you're going to love it because I kind of want one now. All right, so we're going back to Enskillan. Yeah, I got too dizzy the first time. Anyway, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite railroads. And, of course, going back to the Reading and Northern, we took a look at the 425 Pacific engine that they have there in the current paint scheme. But Broadway Limited actually just released it in the former paint scheme. This was a paint scheme around 2007 to 2014. And we have that here on the tracks here to take a look at here. This is the Reading and Northern 425 locomotive in the old paint scheme here. Now it's a little bit lighter blue and it has yellow writing and supposed as the silver that currently dons here. But it is a great looking locomotive here. I love the 425. I've seen this engine probably more on the Reading and Northern than any other engine that they have there. It sounds great. It looks great. And if you're an N scaler and if you want to depict some of those Reading and Northern excursions, especially back in the early, uh, late 2000s, early 2010s, this is the engine that you need. So let's get her started up here, shall we? All right, so let's take a listen to the whistle. Now, it's always hard to mash the whistle perfectly because Redding and Orin likes to play games a lot, so that engine's probably had more whistles than Broadway Limited has files for, but that's pretty good. Let's take a listen to the bell. Like the bell? Oh boy. That sounds great. Let's roll it around, shall we? All aboard the gym floor. That's such a cool sound of locomotive here. 
Now, one of the neat things about the 425, as I said, it's had a couple of different variations. So if you're a really big fan of the Reading and Northern, you might want to get the old one and the new one so you can have both of your bases covered just to make sure you got the entire train. Now, Broadway Limited is selling this locomotive for $369.95, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $295.96. That's an awesome deal to get on a locomotive, especially one of a high quality standard such as Broadway Limited. So I know you're really going to enjoy this, especially just like me if you're a Reading and Northern fan. And the unfortunate part is the real 25 is going to be going down for its 1472 rather soon. So you're not going to see it on the rails, so you may as well get the model version so you can keep fill that downtime on your model railroad. So come in and get it. All aboard. So I know probably some of you are looking for a commuter train to roll on your rails here. So here at HO Land, and once again, thanks to Repito, I have this F59PH that hopefully will fit the bill here. Check out this train here. This is an awesome looking train. It's a great looking set here. This is the Trinity Railway Express. And a uh, striking train it is definitely. Take a look at this set here. I had there, of course, I had the diesel locomotive, which is the F59PH, and I had these bi-level commuter cars here, and they are all lit with interiors. As you can see, I have the cab car here at the end here. If I look inside the windows there, you're going to see the various different seats that I have here, um, rearranged in the correct orders that you would see on a real commuter train here. This is just a really cool looking train set here, and definitely one that probably doesn't look like anything that you have here. Now the neat thing about this is if I take a look at the roofs as well, you can see the detailing there, including the number of different cars that we have here. Uh, this is just awesome. I think Rapido has hit the home run with this train here. And if you're looking for a commuter train to run on your rails, as I said, look no further than this Trinity Railway Express. Now the diesel here retails for $339.95, but we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $305.95. And then the cars, which come in a three-pack, sell for $319.95, but we're selling here for $299.99. This is just a great-looking set here. And as I said with the EP5s, Rapido chocks these full of so many different goodies and little subtle Easter eggs here that we are going to be taking a look at here. So let's take a look at this engine. Again, I don't have the sound on here because I'm going to play some of the sound effects that go on here. And for our fans of the Blues Brothers, I think we got like one of these sounds in particular. sounds. It's 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes, it's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Well, I love that they threw the Blues Brothers in for some reason. This one's an advertisement for, I believe, Quebec. So that is just so cool. There's so many neat little features that they throw into this set here. And again, I think Rapido does a fun thing. Just put those little Easter eggs here, especially I'm a big fan of the Blues Brothers movie. So to have that happening on their railroad, I think that's pretty cool. All right, so now let's check out the actual train sounds. I know our train people are probably blowing up right now because we're not 
playing train sounds. Here you go. Let's take a listen to what the horn sounds like. Yeah, that sounds pretty accurate to what this engine is. All aboard. So that's just a great looking engine. It's a great looking set here. And I know you're going to love that, especially if you're looking for a commuter train on your layout. So again, the diesel, diesel retails for $339.95. We're selling that for $305.95. And for the three pack of cars, that's selling for $319. We're selling that for $299.99. So great deal to get on this set. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get that pulling commuters on your line today. All right, well, I want to thank you very much for tuning into our show, What's New Here at Yankee Dabbler. Hopefully, some of these items have piqued your interest. Where, of course, I have this F59PH, the Trinity Railway Express set here. I got these uh, 13,000 gallon tank cars here. Of course, I have the Reading and Order 425 from Broadway Limited. That EP5 here from Rapido. And, of course, I have that SD45 from Bachman. But, of course, if none of these strike your interest, of course, our website, which is being continuously added daily, yankeedabler.com, hopefully has some items that will fit your bill and hopefully will be on your layout in no time. If you're not already, click uh, subscribe to Engineer Hall's channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get caught up on all the latest and greatest things that are coming up here. For example, the latest thing that we have happening here is Engineer Hall he took out his driveway and is making several different layers of foam risers. Is this going to keep going up? Almost like the DNA strand thing. It's going to be awesome. How high are you going to go with that thing? Yay high. Yay high. All right. So that, that can vary. All right. So make sure you click that subscribe button there. We're going to conclude with a rail fan video. Since we took a look at the 425, we're going to take a look at its last excursion that it did. Going from Mountaintop to Genthorpe, Pennsylvania. And you're going to see this engine going at track speed. Very impressive. So until next time, thank you for tuning in. And if you excuse me, I gotta get ready for our latest creation here, the Yankee Dabbler Art Show, featuring pictures from Christian. And these are just fantastic. Look, there's, there's him and me and him and the train. And a bunny and a pig and that was just a little scary. Yeah, that's I don't know about that one. So yeah. Oh well. So we're selling tickets, and uh, so far no one's interested, but uh, hey, you never know. So, till next time, check this out. Hmm. Kind of bad. These are my latest pieces. This is my manager and my DJ. As you can see, you know, I'm the prettier of the bunch. Uh, this is me behind the controls of a locomotive. Um, I did a lot of smoke fluid that day. So I don't really remember the details on that one. Uh, this is me and my happy family, my pet rabbit, my wife who I hate. And uh, this one represents my inner turmoil. And uh, yeah, subscribe to Engineer Hall.